We are three hours into the final World Endurance Championship race of 2017. Down there on the grid, all the great and the good of World Motorsports were gathered to see who would win the remaining championships. LMP1 had been decided last time out in Shanghai, China. But as the ninth race of the season got underway, the Porsches on the left-hand side dominated down towards the first corner. They just managed to squeeze out the Toyotas, but only just as they made their way up in the first third of the first lap. It was a Porsche 1-2, a Toyota 3-4. LMP2 was electrifying, as was GTE Pro. Then a bollard went missing. It got replaced, but the bollard that had gone missing went into a Porsche. That meant that Porsche had to lose a lap coming into the pits and getting things all sorted. LMP2, wheel to wheel between the Rebellion and the Jackie Chan racing number 38. That continues three hours into this race. Then the Toyota got ahead of the Porsche. Number eight getting ahead of number one as Vitaly Petrov, who was leading LMP2, came into the pits to, for a pit stop. A stellar drive he had done at the beginning of the race. In GTE Am, Paul Dallalana's car with Pedro Lamy and Matthias Lauder at the wheel was doing so well, as was the Porsche to fight back at the front of the action. Then, brilliant manoeuvre from Andy Prio. He managed to get the Ford GT ahead into the lead of the GTE Pro category as the battle raged a little bit further back for second and third. The Porsche guys were pretty happy with that as their new RSR comes to a close of its first season. Then Prio had a little bit of a moment, he, let, he went a little bit wide, and that left the door open and he lost a couple of positions. How the tide had turned. The Dempsey Proton Porsche had a headlight that didn't work, they lost time replacing that. Then the number 98 Aston Martin continued to lead, it's on course, all other things being equal to, to wrap up that AM title. Then only a few minutes ago, third place in the race, the Toyota of Kamui Kobayashi came to blows with Michael Christensen's class leading GT Porsche. The GT Porsche out of the race, Kamui Kobayashi losing six minutes in the pits. Therefore, this is the car that leads the race overall. It is the Toyota of Nakajima.